Hello, welcome to Board with Paint. Today I'll be showing you how to paint the male monk from the Path of the Wandering Monk expansion for HeroQuest. I've already primed the miniature entirely in white, so without further ado, let's get painting. We'll start off with the skin, and I'm using Kokum Copper from Scale Color for this. I'm trying to go for sort of a darker tan-ish sort of Bruce Lee Enter the Dragon look with the skin. These scale color paints are very thin and they don't cover well, so you'll need probably at least two or three coats to get good coverage. Next we'll paint the pants using Azure from Vallejo Model Color. This color on the other hand covers really well so I only needed to use one coat for this. Next, I'll be using AK Interactive's Warm Gray to paint what I'm going to refer to as the skirt. I know this thing probably has a real name, but I don't know what it's called. If you know what it's called, please leave me a note in the comments. I only recently picked up some of the AK Interactive paints, so you'll start to see them here in my videos. I've really enjoyed them so far, especially these lighter white range colors. We'll also want to use this to hit the arm wraps. I'm painting his boots in black gray. And while we have this on the palette, we'll apply a base coat of it to his hair. I also hit the eye patch and strap with this. Once the black gray is dry, I'm returning to the warm gray and painting the wraps on the boots. I then decided to do the sword and scabbard in black gray as well. For his belt and sash, I'm using Rhinox Hide.
for the pommel and handguard of the sword, I'm giving it a base coat of some lead belcher. I'm also painting the tip of the scabbard with this. Now we'll move on to some highlighting. First by mixing some off-white in with the azure and highlighting the legs. Here we're just going to lighten the upturned surfaces like the knees and the folds of fabric. And we'll repeat this a few times, each time adding a little more off-white. As usual on the subsequent layers, we're going to cover a slightly smaller area. Next, we'll highlight the skirt by mixing some off-white in with the warm gray. And we'll build this up over a few layers. I'm leaving the plain warm gray down in the recesses and trying to apply the highlights just on the raised areas of the folds. We'll also want to be sure to highlight the hand wraps and the boot wraps. And we'll add a little more off-white to lighten this even further. And we rinse and repeat. And here's our final highlight. Now we'll highlight the boots by mixing the off-white with black-gray. And this will just be applied over the upper areas of the shoes. We'll hit a little bit here on the back to give it some variation. I'm also using this to highlight the sword scabbard. Then we'll mix a little more off-white in and step up the highlight slightly. And then we apply this over the same areas, keeping more towards the tip of the toes. And here I'm hitting the edges of that sword scabbard to give it some variation. Now we'll highlight the belt and sash by mixing some Rhinox Hide and Kokum Copper. And again, we are painting just on the upper folds of the fabric here.
I'm adding a little more of the copper here and we'll apply the highlight again. And for the final highlight, I'm mixing in some of the warm gray to get a little bit of a lighter tone. And this will be our highest highlight. Once everything is completely dry, I'm going with some Citadel non-oil and applying this over all the black areas and also using it to emphasize some of the transitions between fabric and the recesses on the wraps on the arms and legs. Here I'm trying to emphasize the separation of the different fabric on the skirt area. I did try using this to shade some of those recesses a little more, but I wasn't crazy about the result, so I ended up repainting it using the warm gray and reapplying the highlights as before. I did this off camera. Here I'm going in with another mix of warm gray and off-white just to re-establish some of the highlights on the arm wraps and the skirt that the non-oil took away. And now we'll move on to highlighting the skin. We'll be mainly using Kislev Flesh and Kokum Copper, and we'll start off with sort of a 50-50 mix of these colors. For highlighting the skin, we'll basically just be tracing over the bulk of the muscles and leaving the recesses between the muscles pretty much untouched. We'll gradually build this up over several layers, continually lightening it with more Kislev Flesh and trying to get a nice gradient and get those muscles well defined. This guy's pretty ripped, so there's a lot of little abs and his abs have abs and his ribs and all kind of stuff that you can pick out with this highlight color. Right now I'm ignoring the scars. We'll go back in later and paint those separately.
we want to be sure to pick out each individual finger and leave that bare cocum copper in the recesses so that you can pick those out from a distance. I zoomed in a bit here just to show where I'm highlighting on the face. I'm getting the forehead, the nose, and we'll also get the cheekbones here. Uh, maybe get the chin a little bit because it does stick out a bit. We'll step up the highlight a bit more with the addition of more Kiss of Flesh. And now we basically repeat what we just did, so I'll speed this up. Uh, we're going to cover slightly smaller area like we always do with highlighting. And we are trying to keep the highlight on the upper parts of the muscles, leaving some of the lower highlighted portions untouched. Here we're using almost pure Kislev flesh. Now for a final boost, just to give the skin a little bit of shine, I'm mixing some off-white in and trying to put a little more copper in just to bring some of that saturation back. We'll want to apply this pretty sparingly though, just to the very upper portions of the muscles. Next, we'll move on to the hair. I'm going to jump through this pretty quickly because the process is almost exactly the same as the process we did for the female monk in the last video. You can click the link up in the corner if you want to see how I did that. But to give a quick recap, we basically take off-white and some of the black-gray, and we'll do short, small strokes, just giving the impression of different volumes of hair on the head. Then we progressively get lighter and lighter, keeping those strokes smaller and smaller until we have an effect that we're happy with. I usually take this to a point where it's a little bit over highlighted and looks gray. Then I go in with some thinned down black paint here. I'm using a scale color decay black and I'm repeating the process with the small strokes, just trying to darken things a little bit and provide some visual confusion, which will basically trick the eye into thinking there's a lot more detail going on there than there really is. Now I'm going back to the base colors and reapplying some of those same highlights. The process just involves going back and forth between dark and light until you're happy with the result. Here I'm boosting some of the brighter highlights by mixing in some more off-white. Now I'm really thinning down that black, basically bringing it down to a glaze consistency. We're gonna wick off excess on a paper towel as we always do with a glaze, and then we'll brush this over all of the hair. If you let this dry completely, you can reapply the glaze as many times as you want until you reach the desired level of darkness in the hair. Once we're done with the hair, we'll move on to the eyes. Here I'm dotting in the whites with some off-white 
and unfortunately that is the only usable footage I had from the eyes. The next step was drawing in the pupils with some pure black. And now catching up to where we were in the video, I am now painting the scars using Orcish Dermis from Scale Color. I'm not really thinning this down, I'm just painting it directly onto the scars. I'm looking for a nice saturated pink here. Here I'm adding a scar to his upper arm, even though it's not sculpted in. This is just a little freehand line right there on his muscle. Now we'll highlight the scars by adding some Kislev flesh into the Orcish Dermis. And I'm applying the highlight just sort of in the middle of the scar line, just to give it a little bit of variation. As a finishing touch, I'm dotting in some nipples with Rhinox hide. These aren't sculpted in, so you just have to give it your best guess. And as always for the heroes, I'm painting the base in Hall Red. And finally, I'm just hitting some of the metallic areas of the sword with a touch of silver, just to give it a little bit of highlight. And that completes the male monk from The Path of the Wandering Monk. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for more videos like it, and leave a comment and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do next. If you're looking for more content from me, I sometimes post on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So feel free to follow me there. Thanks again for watching Board with Paint, and until next time, happy painting.